Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So now we are going to discuss the next example, which is the integration of sine squared. This is a bit special because it has squared and also cos squared ax. So how to solve this kind of questions? We have a formula for it, which is we call it a special case. Whenever we have integration of sine squared, of a linear ax we need to change it first we are we need to change it first so that it become 1 minus cos 2 ax over with 2 so this is uh, this formula i cannot explain further i can only ask you guys to use it same goes to this one integration of cos squared ax going to give you 1 plus cos 2ax over with 2. So if you look at here, both formula that has the same kind, almost the same kind of formula. So about nilai dia sama. 1 is 1 here, cos 2x, 2ax here is the same. And then everything is divided with 2. All the same, except, except where? All is the same except this one, except the operation of minus and plus for each of them is different. Okay, so when you when you come across with integration of sine squared, meaning it is one minus cos two ax over two. All right, but when you come across with integration of cos squared, it is plus instead. Okay, remember cos is plus, sine is minus. Sine squared is minus, I repeat, integrate sine squared is minus, integrate cos squared is plus. Okay? Hopefully you remember that. And let's begin. Let's write down the formula. So the answer is integral masih ada ya. Kita belum lagi integrate. Belum lagi integrate. Kita hanya tukarkan apa yang di dalam ini. Tukarkan the sine 2 squared x into, into what? into 1 plus or minus, 1 minus, okay? The difference is that, the difference is only at here, minus, minus cos 2ax. In this case, tak perlu lagi tulis A sebab kita dah tahu di sini adalah X saja. So, 2x over with 2. Okay, kenapa sini ada nilai 2? Because the formula got number 2. The formula has two, guys. Sebab tu ada dua saya tulis. The A here for this question is only one. The A is one. That's why I didn't write the A. A is one. All right. And then the way to simplify this is actually splitkan dia menjadi dua integration. So the first integration adalah one of two. And the next integration is cos 2x over 2dx. Okay. Ataupun ada lagi cara yang lebih senang nak menyelesaikan soalan ini. Saya padam ya. Cara yang lebih paling senang nak selesaikan soalan ini adalah keluarkan 1 per 2. Please know that this is 1 over 2 sebenarnya. This is literally 1 over 2. I bring it outside of the integral. Jadi yang tinggal di dalam ni hanyalah 1 minus cos 2x then. Yang tinggal di dalam ini hanyalah 1 minus 2x sahaja. 1 over 2 sudah pun saya bawa dia keluar. And then barulah saya senang untuk selesaikan. So the answer here is in bracket integrate 1 dx is actually x minus with integrate of cos 2x dx. Okay. You, you boleh split kan dia ataupun you tak nak tulis ini pun tidak apa. Tak tulis pun tak apa, tak ada masalah. Tapi kalau you confuse, you tulislah uh, splitkanlah dia. Tapi rasanya dah cukup mahir dah kot. Tak perlu split pun tidak apa kot. Okay, so cukup dah you all faham bahawa integrate cos 2x adalah sine 2x over 2. And so you put plus C. Ni saya padam ya. And so the answer is, eventually, the answer is 1 over 2x 
minus sine 2x over 4 plus c. That's it. That is the answer. But some of you might ask me, Madam, boleh tak saya nak berhenti takat ini? Boleh ke? Tak payah saya darab masuk pun boleh. Dua-dua jawapan ini pun betul anyway. Alright. Let's go to the next example. Integrate 2 cos squared x dx. So this number 2 is is needed to be bring outside. So I bring the 2 outside. So yang tinggal di dalam ini hanyalah cos squared x dx. Okay. Change this into a special color a bit so that it pops out. Alright. And so you got to remember there is the formula for cos squared. For integrate of cos squared, there is a formula. We call it special angle. It's special angle pula. It's a special case. The special case, I, 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 I describe it as a special case. And then integrate cos squared is 1 plus. Okay, 1 plus. So let us write it down. Di dalam ini sudah gunakan jadi 1 plus cos 2x over 2. Right, this is it. I'm just trying to apply the formula. And then I bring the 1 over 2 outside, guys. I bring the 1 over 2 outside. And so it become 1 instead. Tapi kejap lagi lah saya tulis. So now I should write here as cos, no, no, no. 1 plus cos 2x dx. Okay. Itu yang di dalamnya. Mana kala? Yang di luar ini saya boleh terus cut-cut tinggallah satu. Satu tak tulis pun tidak apa. So the rest of it is only integrate 1 plus cos 2x dx. And eventually the answer is x plus sine 2x. We must divide it with 2 and then plus c. And then the answer is just Let's continue with the next one, which is integrate 3 sine squared x over 2. This is linear. How do I know it's linear? Because this is ax. ax is a linear, guys. You must be good in reading the questions. As I said so many times, we must be good in reading mathematics. Read the questions carefully. This is 1 over 2x. Therefore, this is ax. Therefore, this is a linear anyway. Okay, I hope you know that. So, integrate sine squared. The formula say that it is 1 plus or minus 1 minus cos 2ax over 2. Am I right? Inside of the integration. Yes, it is. It is correct. The formula for the sine squared is minus. Okay. And so, don't forget to bring the 3 outside first. Bawa keluar dulu sine squared tu. Eh, bawa keluar dulu tiga tu. And then tiga kekal di luar. Di dalam ini bertukar. Transform menjadi 1 minus cos 2 ax. In this case, ax kita adalah x over 2. So, saya buat kurungan lagi. And then the whole thing divided with 2. Tutupkan dengan dx. Biasakan tutup dengan dx ni. Jangan malas. Student saya dulu sangatlah suka tinggalkan benda ni. But please don't do that for for your own sex. Okay? Please don't do that. And then 3 remain there. I think 2 saya nak bawa keluar. I mean 1 per 2 saya nak bawa dia keluar. Senang hidup saya. Di dalam ni saya boleh simplifykan dia. Dia akan jadi 1 minus cos x eventually. Yeah. Just that. Dalam ni sudah pun disimplified dan disebabkan saya cut-cutkan AX di dalam ni. Remember ya, yeah, this is your AX. Therefore, I put my AX inside of the formula there. Okay? So, refer the formula whenever you feel you are a bit confused. Right? Refer formula, compare sahaja. Pattern akan tetap sama. Matematik is about patterns for your syllabus. Okay? In the end, the answer will be 3 over 2... And then you can start to integrate it. You will get it. the answer is x minus. Uh, this one careful, yeah? We are now trying to integrate cos dx. The answer is actually sine x. 
Okay, careful. So, this is the answer guys. You don't have to darab masuk. I think no need lah. Tak perlu pun darab masuk. Biarkan sahaja jawapannya begini pun dah okay dah. Alright. Let's go to the next example. Alright. Sorry. Number 10 first. And here scan dulu. Scan soalan dulu. So, have a look at this. What is this? This is not even sine squared. This is not even cos squared. This is not even single sign, single cos, or single secant squared x. No, there are not even, all of these are not even there for this question. So, after you dah scan soalan-soalan ni, eh, soalan ini, you will see that, oh, this question seems very familiar with double angle formula. It is very close to double angle sebab aku boleh uh, dah tulis secara 2 sin x cos x which is this is double angle. And so I can change this formula into sin 2a instead for this thing. But this is 4 guys. How do I do it? And so don't be panic. What you can do is just 2 times 2 is 4. So I split 2 times 2 uh, into two kind of writing which is 2 times 2 is 4. So I bring I bring the number 2 outside and the, the rest number 2 is inside so that I can see that this is actually the double angle formula. Okay, so inside here has become the double angle which I can change it into, which I can change it into sine 2x instead by using the double angle formula okay and so the answer is the i mean not the answer the integral is sine 2x okay and then and then we know that this is don't be panic don't be panic this is just sine bentuk apa ni ni bentuk soalan soalan formula ni ni adalah bentuk goal kita which is bentuk sine ax and it is true, we have ax. Our a right now is equals to 2. So we are good. We know how to integrate sine ax, single, uh, uh, single-handed. No, dengan mudahnya lah, what I meant is. And then 2 will be times with the answer for the integration, which is differentiate sine. No, 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 not differentiate. I should call it integrate. Integrate sine is... Negative cos, tada! Kena hafal ya. Negative cos, two x over two. Don't forget to divide with two. Apa bila setiap kali so integration trigu. And then we cut cut. Tinggallah dengan jawapan. Negative cos two x plus c. That is our answer. Easy? Yes. It is very very easy if you know how to read the questions before, before I repeat, before you nak terus jawab laju-laju, baiklah jangan nak cepat-cepat sangat, perlahan-perlahan, scan dulu soalan, apakah formula yang boleh dipakai, yang terbaik untuk menyelesaikan soalan tersebut. Okay, kena scan dulu, fikir dulu perlahan-perlahan, formula apa sebelum aku jawab ini. Formula apa yang boleh dipakai sebelum menjawab, sebelum integrate. Let's go to the 11th question. So here panjang-panjang macam ni, mesti you you dah ada mikiran lah. Satu formula di dalam kepala you all. Which is the compound angle formula. So compound angle formula, as my videos from the last semester, uh, chapter 7, I have a song for it. For sine A plus B or sine A minus B, there is a song for it that I, I, that I, I make, which is sine cos cos sine kalau untuk cos pula i sing cos cos sine sine <laughs> okay it's just a simple song simple rhythm uh, to make me remember sine a plus b or sine min a minus b is sine cos cos sine cos cos sine sine untuk cos lah okay <laughs> just a simple rhythm and then so we change this into a simple simpler answer where 
uh, okay where where you just have to scan dulu lah is this sine cos cosine yeah this is sine cos cosine therefore you will have a plus b but before you you tak payahlah tulis a plus b betul tak you just make sure that this is the correct sign and then in the middle here is plus and then you just have to make sure that this is your a b a b are they the same yes they are the same so you put your x and 2x and then you will get what you will get a simpler answer which is sine 3x and then you are ready to integrate it and so much easier because what is this this is our goal our goal is sine ax and no and now we know very clearly how to integrate sine 3x already so the answer is actually negative cos 3x over 3 don't forget that ataupun cara nak tulis cara lain iaitu hanyalah negative 1 over 3 cos 3x is like this. So, dua-dua jawapan ini, dua-dua penulisan ini pun uh, sama sahaja. They represent the same thing anyway. Either you bring the negative one of the three outside or you don't have to bring, you just leave it there. Okay. The last one from me for this video. Okay. So, cos, cos, sign, sign. Have a scan of it. Okay. If you see kind of long tree go, you will figure out that this is need to be used compound angle formula. So just remember the rhythm. Cos, cos, sine, sine. Therefore, the formula say I must keluarkan cos instead. In the middle here, if this is minus, this, if this is minus guy, this should be plus. Untuk cos saja formula dia agak unique. Therefore, inside here, you gotta scan back. Is this A? Yeah, good. Is this B? Yeah, good. Both are good. So, and so you can put the A and B inside it, which is 2x plus 3x. Therefore, it will be much simpler now. The answer is cos 5x. Not the answer. The integration is cos 5x. Therefore, the final answer, the integration answer will be sine 5x over 5 plus c. Very simple. Or you want to write it down as 1 over 5 sine 5x plus c. That's it.